seems like everyone would like to know how to weave their crosses a little faster. What I've got here now is I've got the top two crosses ran in on this tennis racket. This cross right here is holding this string down and this string up. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be weaving through these crosses and I'm going to be going over the high strings and under the low strings. Okay? Uh, a lot of times I'll just get started a, a little bit and then the greater angle that you have on the string relative to the main strings, the easier it is to get the string through there because you have a greater distance between the strings. So now since I went under this string, I'll go over this string and under this one. And then what I'm doing is I'm pushing the string down with my right, up with my left to get it through there. Uh, that wasn't very difficult, but it was a little difficult to get the string through there. Actually, as I'm pulling the string through here now, I've got a lot of friction on this string as I'm pulling it across these mains. And the reason for that is because I'm going over the high, under the low. If you look at this string, I don't know if you can see it, but there's quite a bit of a wave to that string. So now what I'm doing is I'm going under the high strings and under the low strings. And it's a lot easier to weave this string across there. What some people will do now is they'll stop right here and leave this tail and pull tension on the third, then pull the fourth cross through. What I like to do, just to cut down on the friction on my string, is pull that string almost all the way through there, and then pull tension on that cross. That way I have very little string to pull tension on here. I'll pull tension on the third cross. I'm going to straighten my string. I'm going to clamp my string. Then I'm going to re-pull that string just to get a little bit of the tension or stretch out of that string. Then I can release my string after the strings. Just weaving it through there. Okay, I've got the first three strings ran in and this is the fourth string. The tension on the third string holds some strings high and those strings that are high push this cross string even higher. If I look at this fifth string, it's wove the same as the third string. So it goes under the low strings and over the high strings and it appears a lot straighter. You can see this string is much straighter than this string is. After I pull tension on the fourth cross, Then, that fifth string that I've got in there is the wavy string. And the sixth cross that I run across there will go almost straight through the strings because it's going under the high ones and over the low ones. If you can't quite get that weave down, a good thing to do is practice with your left hand. I'm going to use the, my right hand uh, and string this string like I was doing a needle and thread where I'll push it down over the high one, push it up under the low one with my left hand, then pull it up. And then all I'm doing is I'm putting the string down in there, grabbing it with my right hand and pulling it up after I push it up with my left index finger. When I'm going across from left to right, I like to start at the bottom when I'm going across from right to left, I like to start at the top because I'm always going across the racket this way at an angle and never straight across this way perpendicular. Then I just push it down with my right, push it up with my left. 